process um, you know we went through you know February was a big install and walkthroughs um, the one thing we did with the wide receivers and the quarterbacks and the tight ends and the running backs is we started throwing the day I got here um, and we went out there and started throwing and it wasn't pretty the first day um, you know the second day we got better third day and it has led into weeks of progression where we have progressed to a point where we have improved tremendously uh, at every position in throwing the football. And that's what you have to do at the quarterback positions. You got to throw every route, um, and we've been doing that. And it's been a it's been a grind, but that's what you do to go build the passing game to where we need to get get to. Um, and you know, I'm excited about this offense. I'm excited about the offensive line uh, and the depth we have. I'm excited about our running backs, um, our tight ends. You know, we have experience there and we have youth that is really coming along. Um, so the wide receiver position, again, we're, we're, we're very talented. Um, the depth we're continuing to, to build. So we have depth and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a situation where we're building this one day at a time, and you know, Coach Monzon talks about all the time about building. We're building the foundation, and it's like building a house. And when you first build a house, you know, you see a foundation, you see pipes and everything, and the and, and it doesn't look so pretty. But you've got to imagine what the final product's going to be, and that's what we're working for right now. And I said, guys, we have to build it every day, every day. And we're installing offense, the offense right now, and it's a process. It's a mental process, and it's one thing to walk through it. It's one thing to do it in our first day in pads. It was, it was rusty, our first day in pads. Um, you know, the bottom line is we can be a lot better, and we're going to be a lot better. But the, the, there was a lot of great things that happened today. What's been the players' reaction to your style of coaching? How have these first three practices gone from your perspective? You know, uh, uh, again, the, the players have been great, and. You know, the, the one thing is, is that, you know, I put God first place because without him, it doesn't matter. And uh, the players, you know, the one thing I feel is their, their spirit, their energy, what they stand for. And it's exciting and how they've embraced that and how hard they've worked. And in the weight room with Coach Dawson and how they're preparing themselves and building it. And I talk about sowing seeds. You know, you sow, sow seeds every day. You can throw the seeds on the ground and hope they grow, or you can put them in the ground and then cultivate them. And that's, you know, that's the one thing we talked about in manhood with Coach Ingram. And it's, a, it's so true. And I said, guys, uh, you know, the final, the final, you know, products that we, we grow, you don't see. So you have to have faith. You have to have faith in all the work that you put in and what we're putting in right now. You've mentioned wanting to push the ball vertically. So what's the maybe timeline of installing that portion of the offense and what sort of progression do you want to see by the end of the spring? We started installing day one and from day one to day two it got better and better us pushing down pushing the ball down the field and throwing the ball vertically down the field. Our defense does a great job of taking the top off. I know our defensive staff they pride themselves on not letting deep balls get over their head but we've done a really good job of being able to, to read progression reads, know where our reads are, we got to continue to, to get better, but I'm excited where the quarterbacks are right now on day three. First day in pads for a quarterback, guys, is, you know, you've been throwing since the bowl game with, with no pads on, then you add three pounds of pressure, you know, three pounds on your shoulder and go out there and go try to throw exactly perfect isn't, isn't going to happen. But today was a good day. Today was a good day throwing. But we got to get used to shoulder pads, and that's normal in every program that I've been in. Coach, uh, what's your relationship been like with the position coaches, and what do you expect from them to, you know, help you facilitate your job? Well, I, I love our position coaches. Um, you know, Herb Hand, incredible, and you know we've come together extremely well um, as far as all the position coaches. You know, and Grant Herb, the receiver coach, uh, does a great job and has been, uh, you know, doing a, again building relationships with his receivers in with the new offense and the receivers are excited about it, you know? And then with Cam Martin, uh, who came in, um, 
and has, has really just took off. You know, and he's got tons of energy in the running backs. Again, we, we have a, a really good core of running backs, and I'm really excited about Cam. And Cam and I were together when I was here before, and we both left, and then we both came back. So uh, really enjoy Cam Martin and his coaching style and who he is as a person, and he coaches hard. And then you got Brian Blackman, who's our tight end coach, who does a fan. He's been a head coach, um, lots of wisdom. Um, and again, he's our special teams coordinator. So as coordinator, you know, he understands big picture stuff. So our staff and then all our GAs and all, all our analysts and volunteers, they all work together and it, it, it builds a, a, a team and we do it together. Coach, with so much talent at quarterback position, running back position, you know, kind of getting early in the spring, trying to find that foundation. How do you split those reps just to kind of make sure everybody kind of you can see them in different situations with different personnel? How do you as a coach kind of go into spring splitting those reps? Is it by design? Do you kind of have them on a pitch count? Or do you kind of let their play and performance kind of sort those reps out? No, we definitely, at every position, we make sure that, you know, everybody has reps and we script that out. We script that out and we know who's going in and what plays are they need to have. Um, and then the quarterback quarterback room again, you know, it's it's been it's been great. Um, you know, splitting those reps up and we're gonna continue to do that. And you know, that's the that's where we have the gold, black, and white groups, and everybody's getting reps and our young players, we want them to get reps and them to build. That's what spring's for. And so Again, the final product doesn't need to be done until we have our first game. But the bottom line is that's why we're building it daily, building it daily. What are you seeing from your quarterbacks out there? Obviously, John Rice comes back after starting last year. There's another quarterback that was a starter at his previous school. I know Thomas is getting another year of experience. What are you seeing from your guys early on? Yeah, uh, John Rice, um, I, you know, I, I, again, with the new offense and everything that's been going on with him, I'm extremely pleased where he's at right now. And his leadership qualities are off the chart. And he has been doing a, a, a great job as a leader. And again, his quarterback, his feet have improved tremendously. Uh, we've been working on that, which is a big part. You know, everybody says that, you know, everybody talks about quarterback's arms, but it's your feet. Um, and putting them in the right direction, how, you know, how you work the pocket, and then vision down the field. You know, being able to see the receivers and find them and, and understand your progression and being able to go through it quickly in your mind. And again, after three days, I'm pleased where we are. We got to get better. Tommy has done an exceptional job. Um, he has really worked very, very hard at the offense and understanding it. Um, I'm very pleased where he is. Very pleased. Uh, I love his leadership. I love the qualities about him. He has... He has that it factor about him. And I think the biggest thing with him is, you know, as a true freshman, you know, it, it's, it, you look at me, a quarterback, a true freshman, I was completely different than I was a redshirt freshman. And then from a redshirt freshman to a redshirt sophomore, et cetera. So again, we're in his second year in this spring ball, I'm excited what he's done the first three days. Really excited where he's at. And then, um, you know, Timmy, has done a, uh, again, he has gotten so much better from the first day I saw him throwing to where he's at right now. And so we got to continue to build those three. Um, and, you know, and again, we're a tight knit group in that room. And um, I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to Saturday. Coach, I know you're only three days into spring and you got the whole spring and summer to really build into fall. But say, say by the spring, what are you really hoping where the offense is going to be by then? Well, first of all, that we, we master the offense. We master what we install. And we won't install completely everything, but we'll install 90% of it, that we master it, that we know it by heart. Um, and that the players understand what we're, trying to, what we're trying to get done on every play and define that. And then I want to see us being able to throw the ball and complete the, you know, the football down the field. We're going to run the ball, and we're going to be great at running the football. And, um, you know, I, I'm excited about that. And again, being able to throw the football down the field. And it, when you say throw the football down the field, we want to throw it, but not necessarily always over the defense's head. We want to be able to find seams. We want to foul the dig routes. We want to be able to check it down when we need to. And know where to go with the football. That's what I want. I want those quarterbacks knowing this offense inside and out where they feel comfortable going into the summer. And that's how you grow.
How important is it to figure out the offensive line up front, new faces, maybe finding your center? How critical is figuring that out this spring? Well, Coach Hand and Coach Malzahn, trust me, are on it uh, daily. And, you know, today is the first day in pads. So, you know, the, the first two days are with offensive linemen, you know, it's, you know, until you put the pads on, it's a whole different, whole, whole different deal. So, again, that's going to be an evaluation process that we're going to continue to evaluate daily and continue to see where we need to put people and what needs to be the best situation. I'll tell you this, though, we have a lot of options. We do. And we have some players that are injured right now that aren't going through spring that we will add into that, to that roster. And I think we're going to have great depth at the offensive line position. Coach, what do you want this offense mentality to be? Bottom line is discipline, attitude, toughness, and effort. It's the first thing I did when I walked in the room. I said, guys, discipline, attitude, toughness, and effort. When you put the film on, that's what I want people to say about us. That's it. The, the, the plays and all that don't matter if we don't have discipline, attitude, toughness, and effort. And, um, the, and, and we preach it daily. And the players are embracing it. The players are talking about it. And when I say effort, we're running down the field and we're being unselfish. We're thinking about others. We're thinking about our teammates. And that is the mentality that we want to have. And again, like I said, when opponents, when people put the film on and watch you play, what do they say about you? What do they say about you? So every day, you're, you know, your resume is your film. Your resume is your film. You can talk all you want off the field and everything, but the bottom line is that the, your resume is your film. What was it like for you as a player? Uh, you were a two-sport guy for a little while, right? You played on the basketball team and March Madness is going on, and you were, weren't you part of the first UCF team that went to the NCAA tournament? Yes, I was. What was, yeah. that, what was that experience like? And also, you've got a little perspective knowing what John Rice is going no, through in the same No, there's no doubt. And uh, I asked to play basketball every year, and Gene McDowell, uh, would say no every year <laughs> and finally my junior year he said yeah yeah we'll, we'll, we'll let you go play basketball and um, you know Kirk Squirrel was the basketball coach and when I walked in to go ask him and a lot of the basketball players knew who I was and they knew what kind of athlete I was but um, but the bottom line is I didn't know what I was getting myself into when I when I got there and, and uh, I started playing basketball and I couldn't get through practice football bat football shape is way different than basketball shape and I had to get myself in shape to be able to go, go compete on the basketball floor. It's a completely different environment, completely different level, but it was an unbelievable experience. And Coach Farrell was unbelievable, letting me be a part of the team and embracing that role that I had in the team. And we did win the championship and we did go to Rupp Arena in Kentucky and go play against Glenn Robinson in Purdue. And it was, it was a heck of a, it was, it was really, it was really exciting. And it was something I'll never forget. Are you talking about some leadership um, from your quarterback position? Are there any other guys from any other position on your offense that are kind of standing out, that are kind of stepping into that role? I know previous years they have a bunch of older guys like Sam, uh, Isaiah Bowser that stepped into that role. Are, are there any guys kind of standing out to you right now? Alec Holler, number one, um, he's a leader. He's a senior, he's a leader, and he's incredible. Um, so, and then you've got the receivers. We got one right back here who's a leader, you know, Javon, Javon Baker. I mean, he is a leader, you know, and he, he's leading by example on the practice field right now, and he's giving effort. Coach Mazan just put up a video of him, you know, giving great effort and going and blocking for the running back down the field. Uh, we got, you know, Kobe Hudson, who is a leader, um, and people, people follow him. And, uh, you know, on the offensive line, we have several leaders on the offensive line that are, that are standing out and, uh, Lakai, 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 got to make sure I say it right every time. Lakai, though, is a leader for that offensive line. There's no doubt about that. John Rice is a leader, and so is, so is Tommy. Um, they're both leaders, um, and uh, I'm really, you know, when you have a really good offense, it's player-led. Bottom line, it's player-led, and we've got great kids here. We really do, and uh, they understand leadership. And, you know, Gus Malzahn is our head coach and our leader. You can feel that. And our players, they want to, they want to go do, do, do well. They want, to, they want to do the right things. And it's exciting to go, to go watch them go out there on the field. Now, again, today was a hot day, first day in pads. And, and we'll get better on Saturday. And we've got to continue to build this thing and install the offense.
You mentioned uh, Javon and Kobe. As far as the slot position, you've got a lot of different options there, both from a size and skill uh, uh, dimension. So. Yeah, and Xavier is is doing great. He was, we had him running routes all down the field today, and he's he was uh, he was huffing and puffing. But that's how you build it. That's how you build it. And we, again, all the receivers are doing a great job as far as that goes. And we are going to throw the football down the field. And again, in that process, we got to go through that in that condition. Well, I was going to say, what with that position specifically, what do you envision out of it? Considering you have somebody like Xavier, and then you have somebody like Trent Whittemore, who's also played there, is a much different looking kind of person. Yeah, and and again, that that with with. You know our tight ends and how they can catch the ball and again with our slot receivers it all works together because the 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 whole system doesn't work unless we have success because there's a lot of plays where all of them can get the ball every one of them can get the ball it's all based on the defense it's what the defense gives us and that's what i'm going through right now progression reads with the quarterbacks and we're looking at coverages and our defense does a great job of showing us so many different coverages and that that's the process of being able to understand where we go with the football and to get it out on time.